Hello there guys, it's been a while. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial for uh, photo editing, including color correction, sharpening images, useful tips, useful things on Photoshop. So I suppose I'll jump right in. And yeah, I'm on my laptop. I'm at my dad's currently, but yeah. So I've just picked a uh, random desktop wallpaper off of Google Images. And first off, I'm going to say might need a bit of sharpening, so what you can do is you can just duplicate the layer. I find this is a really good way to do it. You can mix various ways. You can to filter other high pass and then you should keep on like 10 pixels and then you over that, overlay that layer and it makes it more like sharper. I don't keep on 100% opacity so you can adjust it to how much you like. I'd say usually about 35 or sort of around there just makes it a bit nicer. Also, if you really just want to make that extra bit sharper, you can get, you can duplicate the original layer again, go on to filter, sharpen, sharpen, and then just reduce that to like the same. So then overall, you get a much sharper image. Um, I think in Photoshop, photo imaging tools down here at the bottom underneath your layers, there'll be, there's like, you got one for masks, create a new layer, create a new group, create a new fill or adjustment layer. These are what I'd say are the best ones. So you can get put on a black and white layer and then if you don't know about layers, get a brush. I'll put it on the default brush. If you colour it in black, it removes it, and then if you colour it in white, it puts it back on, which is quite useful for if you wanna change and redo black and white and stuff like that and that works for all kind of mask mask layers it'll work for all of these um, color correction in my opinion gradient mapping is the best although you might want to do some curves adjustment first you know, drag down the lowers and then raise the highs to make it a nicer image and you can meddle with the red and green and the blue but I, I prefer to just use RGB just to add contrast and then for colors I use gradient maps um, yeah I'll change the opacity a little bit not all the way okay now for color correction um, you know, get a gradient map and then I'd say you wanna for gradient mapping you wanna kind of the bottom colors like the darker colors like what I'm adjusting now you want that either to you generally want it to be ranging from red to blue and then the higher colors from the orange to to green slash blue as they work the best in my opinion for this I think a kind of darkish blue mixed with let's say a yellow might look quite nice you know you can adjust how much the blues how much how much of the lighter colors you want but I know I'm just doing this from just improvising you know I'm not very good at that Let's see it looks kind of nice uh, put it on it overlay or soft light I think are the best ones you only have to have it slightly on because I slightly slightly on you don't have to have it 100% opacity I say I lower opacity because I put multiple gradient maps I say for the first the way I do it the first the first gradient map you want you want it on it overlay and then maybe the second one, you want it on soft light. So I'm going to make these slightly stronger colors. I think really kind of show the purples in this picture. And then mix that with an orange. This is basically the typical gradient map to make anything look nice, purple and orange. And I'll bring up the oranges. Soft like that. And then, wow, it really adds, as you can see. Take it on and off. Gives it a, a warmer feel. And then, for the last one, this is what I usually do. It's usually kind of a vintage effect. I don't know, it could be any kind of effect. I don't do overlay or soft light for this one. You do color and turn it down and keep the top color as white. And just basically, the best colors for this is a dark orange or a pink, but I'm going to keep it as a pink so that would be quite nice you'll see what I mean in a second set this to color turn it down 
and as you can see just gives it a tinge of pink and I think it makes it look quite nice. Um, how long has this been going for? Five minutes. Wow, that was quick. Oh yeah, sorry, not, not the most in detail tutorial, but I just wanted to get through all the basic tips, like fast, so you kind of know what you're doing. And this is just basically my, my tips on how to, on certain photo imaging techniques, basically. Uh, if you think it's too saturated in, you can add a hue saturation layer, turn the saturation down a little bit or whatever. But apart from that, I'd say that's about it. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, YouTube background speed up coming very soon. Next upload, I'm pretty sure. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.